Hi, I'm Catherine from Prioritised. I'm, I run a boutique virtual assistant and business coordination service and help small business owners who are really harried, have no time, but want to grow their business. So I act like their right hand man and um, I do it all from my own office space, which is brilliant for lots of other small businesses that now work from home as well. So my why is a number of levels. One was moving to this region, I needed to find a way where I could balance, I guess, family commitments as well as have a rewarding career, um, avoid the dreaded commute, and also for a long time, having worked in both large organisations and for small business and manage small businesses for other people, I could see that small business owners didn't have access to the sort of information bigger organisations did. So I wanted to be able to share that and help small businesses grow and, and use that to their advantage. So that's my why. So my biggest business challenge, like most small business owners, it's finding the time to work on my own business as well as do the working in my business, which is working on other people's businesses. So, you know, walking the talk, I found that challenging at times. Um, and working from home, disengaging from work. You know, you could work till nine or 10 o'clock at night if you wanted to, because it's always there. So making set times where I actually stop and make sure I do other stuff other than work. I have had to reevaluate my value proposition. Uh, so even though businesses do need help with the day-to-day -day basic admin tasks, what I've found is what most small business people really need is help with working on their business and knowing that they can rely on someone to get that done for them as if it was them doing it themselves and know that it would be taken care of. So yes, I had have had to reevaluate that and I'm finding that really rewarding. Um, marketing hits and misses. A big hit for me has been Twitter, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, I've really been gathering a bit of a following on Twitter and get response from Twitter. Not really from Facebook, um, but I guess that's not as much of a surprise given Facebook is more about personal interaction rather than business. Um, particularly for what I do. But the biggest hit that I've found is meeting people face to face and ultimately the better job I do for a client, I then have them telling other people about me and that's really where I've got the bulk of my um, ongoing business from. Yeah. So how do I balance home-based business and family? It can be challenging. Um, but I have a designated area that is my workspace and everybody knows it's my workspace. Um, and I treat it like a business. I start work at a set time each day and I finish work at a set time each day. And my family know that I'm at work during those hours. Um, I schedule things in to make sure that I, I do, it's as if it's a normal work day. Um, I don't get up and do the washing or anything while I'm at work, because I'm at work. Um, and to help with, you know, we're all busy, whether we work at home or in an office, to help with all those sorts of things, um, I have a schedule for my family to help and follow. And so, you know, I have children take turns each night cooking and those sorts of things. So I'm building their skills in life, or life skills, while I'm making sure I still have a balance and, and find time for other things. So, so a couple of general tips that I would have is make sure you make time to work on your business. It's as important as working in your business, which we all get told, but we get so busy working in that we just keep putting that off. But while ever you're putting it off, you're really just treading water and your business won't really grow. To, to its potential anyway. Um, the other tip I would have is um, be prepared to go down the rabbit hole. 
So if something comes up that you think, but that's not what my business is about, be prepared to just follow it a bit and see where it might lead because often they're the next invention of, of your business or the next um, level and an opportunity that you can take your business somewhere that you never imagined. So I'd really, really um, suggest that. Yeah. So what's the question? <laughs>